cost, the crime, the corruption, and the cover-up. But now we know that he cannot protect our people or our country. We've just received these documents that Trudeau has been covering up for years. Documents related to a massive security breach at the Trudeau government's most sensitive laboratory, where the most dangerous viruses and pathogens are studied and handled. We have learned that the Trudeau government's head of pathogens was collaborating with members of Beijing's People's Liberation Army who are responsible for bioweapons and bioterrorism. We know now that uh, a People's Liberation Army official was able to gain personal access, walk in the door, look at computers, and have access to all of our most important vir virological secrets. Let me, if you think any of this is hyperbole, read the report yourself. This is from government documents, the Trudeau government's own documents. It says, here on page 142, Winnipeg Lab scientist Dr. Chu, special pathogens unit, top person in that job, according to documents on page 242, quote, represents a serious and credible danger to the government of Canada as a whole, and in particular at facilities considered high security due to the potential for theft of dangerous materials attractive to terrorists and foreign entities that conduct espionage and damage the economic security of Canada, end quote. It states further on page 239, investigators assess that Dr. Chu communicated with foreign entities during her trips to China. The evidence obtained from interviews and from information collected from the electronic content of her devices reveal that this is indeed the case. As a subject matter expert with access to sensitive information and dangerous materials, Dr. Chu presents a realistic and credible threat to Canada's economic security when conducting repeated and clandestine meetings with foreign entities, end quote. Then it says Dr. Chu conducted joint research with the Major General Chen Wei of the People's Liberation Army, who according According to page 236, is a noted top virologist at the Academy of Military Medical Scientists and is China's chief biological defense expert engaged in research related to biosafety, biodefense, and bioterrorism. Bioterrorism, end quote. And these are, def these are do documents, this is right out of the government's own doc. Trudeau, what did he do when he found out about this? Did he immediately inform Canadians of the breach? Did he fire anybody? No, no one was fired. Did he call in quiet? to get to the bottom of it? No, he didn't do that either. Instead, he covered it all up. He defied four parliamentary orders to release these documents. When the Speaker tried to get them, he sued the Speaker to cover this up. He said it was all for national security, but well, we know from a committee composed of four members of Parliament, including one Liberal, and three judges, and I quote, the, the information appears to be mostly about protecting the organization from embarrassment for failures in policy and implementation, not legitimate national security concerns, and its rele release is essential to hold the government to account. In other words, there was no national security reason why we couldn't have had this before. It was only because Trudeau didn't want the embarrassment before an election. So what did he do then? He collaborated, knowing this, he collaborated with Beijing to buy a vaccine for COVID. Could you imagine if the deal that Trudeau wanted to sign with Beijing had gone ahead and we had procured China-made vaccines after learning this information? That's what was in this guy's head. And if you think for a minute, because I know there'll be all kinds of excuses while well, he's not responsible and how could he possibly take ownership of what happens in his government. Let me quote him. Here's a document called Open and Accountable Government. And I quote, as head of government, the prime minister has special responsibilities for national security. End quote. It's his responsibility. This is his government's lab. It's not a random university lab. It's the top lab for the prime minister's public health agency. And he is exclusively responsible for the machinery of government as prime minister of the country. So this is on Justin Trudeau. I will add one last thing. Not only did he cover it up, not only did he try to get a vaccine from China after knowing this, he called a snap election to make sure that the voting would happen before this came out. And what happened in that election? Beijing interfered to help him win it. This is a man who says he admires China's basic communist dictatorship. We cannot trust Justin Trudeau to keep our people and its country safe. We need a strong, conservative, common sense government that will root out foreign interference, protect our critical secrets and our medical research, and stand on guard for our country to keep our people and our nation safe. Thank you.